Peace, family. Welcome to another edition of Morris World TV 7. Tonight, we got a special guest in the building. Um, this brother expertise is something that I'm going to be covering soon on Morris World TV. Um, Masonic principle, principles and um, shrine them. Um, but this brother for years had been um, expressing his understanding of Masonic principles, Moors and Masons, Masons and Moors, and the relevancy of both as it relates to being connected, interconnected, or we'll find out today. Is that even a fact? Because I'm going to be asking the hard questions. Uh, with that being said, let me bring my brother in. This is my brother, Abdullah Mosey Bay, and I know everybody should know him. If you don't know him, you've been under a rock. Uh, the brother been around <laughs> before I even thought about even considering bringing myself to YouTube or the public uh, um, forum talking about more science or anything of the sort. But with that being said, for those who don't know, brother, could you introduce yourself and let people who don't know um, as I like to say, you know, we have people waking up every day. So for those who don't know who you are, can you give us a brief uh, uh, snapshot of who Abdullah Mosey Bay is? Yes, Abdullah Iltale Mosey Bay is my name. I, I've been um, on my over 29 years, 29 years journey of, of research. I, I've been studying etymology and teaching etymology since etymology, which is the history, origin, and true meaning of words since 1998. Uh, at the Temple University Pan-African Studied Community Education Program, I've written several books, one of which is Masonic Composites, Grand the Connection and Measurement of Timekeeping. I'm also co-founder of the Academy of Providence, and also uh, I'm also co-founder of the, the, the uh, Moorish Moroccan Post School of government and international law, and um, I have a I have a um, a sixteen year old daughter. She just turned sixteen on Halloween, you know. So definitely want to plug that in. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, so, where, so where so where are you hailing from? Where do you where do you actually come from? What part of the what part of the, what part of, uh, of the United States do you come from? Well, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. I'm at Philadelphia right now. Yes. Okay, okay, so you, so you with my you with my bro Taj out there. Now I know yeah, throughout yeah, the years yeah, I've yeah, seen you time. and Taj. Yeah, I've seen you and Taj yes. together a lot throughout the years. Uh, do y'all yeah. have a long history together in teaching uh, um, the science that you're about to talk about tonight? Well, I met Taj in October nineteen um, ninety um, nineteen ninety three, and um, and I've actually began. This journey of understanding the uh, the science, the astronomy, the the origin, and um, the stuff of masonry, really in earnest in 2010 when I really got into re really growing into the astronomy and math of, of, of masonry and the, the truth of masonry, which is actually more science it goes back over 10,000 years, and so we're going to get more in deep more in depth with that as we go along with this presentation. So what I, what I want to ask you is, is one of the one of the most important things that everybody going to ask, actually, are you a Mason or a Shriner? All right. Have you been initiated into any fraternity Mason, Shriner, or any of the likes? All right. There's two different questions. They're not, they're, they're not the same question. So I want right. to, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad you, that was good. That was good that you did that. And I want to, I want the listeners to, to understand that to Haka, those questions are not interchangeable. Okay, that's fine. But I want to ask you. Let me start with one question. I'm, I'm going to answer been, the question. But it's have you been, okay, let me ask. Let me ask you the first question. Then, are you? Are you? Have you ever been initiated in any Masonic order, fraternity? No. So that's no. So, but your so first you question. Been, have you ever been in, uh, initiated in any Shriners order or fraternity? No. No. Yeah. But your first yeah. question, but that's, I'm gonna, I want you to ask your first question because it's not related to the, the second question. Am I a Mason? Yes. No, 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 no. That, 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 no, no, no. That's just, that, hold on a second. What I, what I want to, what I want to establish first, have you been uh, initiated? See, 
one thing that we have to remember that we have people that 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 watch Moorish World TV that they're here to learn. Mm -hmm. And so I want to make sure that I'm clear in what I'm asking. What I'm asking is, have you ever been in a Masonic order or fraternity like a Prince Hall or something of the sort? And you say, no, so no. no. So and, then, and then I ask you the question about, you know, uh, a Shriner. Have you ever been in a fraternity uh, uh, like the Shriners? And you say no. no. But now the other question is, which you which you was about to expound on is, are you a Mason? And if you will expound upon that a little bit with your answer. All right. Yes, I'm a Mason. Mason, as as in masonry, is our ancient Moorish culture. Masonry doesn't belong to an order. Like masonry would be, say, like chemistry. Chemistry, all right, because chemistry is taught in class, all right, or chemistry can be taught in a club, but chemistry is the science, or the science. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just drawing an analogy, drawing an analogy, chemistry and masonry. You know, right. masonry is not an order. Masonry is a science, our ancient culture. It's not an right. order. So I want to be, be right. clear on. I want to separate. I want to separate masonry from the order and place it in its ancient perspective of who time gave, keeping. Who gave, and who gave the name of the science that you speak of, masonry? Who coined that All right. phrase? All right, masonry, free masonry. Free P H P H R E Messian M E S S E N is Egyptian. Free me is P, P H R E P H R E free mess Mason Messin P M E S S E N. Right? So so I'm gonna take so I'm gonna say I'm taking it back to its origin. Even the word Freemasonry. So it's not Freemasonry is not coined in the order. It doesn't be right. the term doesn't belong to an order. It belongs to us as a people. So that's so this is so tonight I'm going to be I'm going to place masonry in its proper perspective. Who 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 was the person that said that Freemasonry, the term, uh, uh, you said come out of Egypt or something like that? Ain't you committed? committed? Mm -hmm. Who was the mm -hmm. person that, uh, what is the source on that? For those right. who, who want to research that. Yes, the, the etymology. The et it's called etymology. The history, origin, and true meaning of words. So the etymology of the word free and the etymology of the word mason. So right. just taking this tracing the word back to its origin. So it's been transliterated as the word free, F R E E, is a modern English form. So these right. these words that we speak of, some are modern English forms, some are Latin forms, and have been transliterated. Means it has been they've been reconstructed into modern forms. What, 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 so, what, all, the words, all of all the words that we speak have ancient origins that just have, have been reconstructed into well, modern I, I, forms. Let me say that I'm not here to challenge you, but I am here to challenge you a little bit because yes, I want to make sure that we recognize that. The, the, the guy that actually coined the phrase is this European right here named Frank Higgins. Frank Higgins actually coined the phrase, uh, which you speak of, free messing. And so... One of the things that I want to be clear is one of the one of the conversations that I always have when it comes to Freemasonry is mm -hmm. emphatically connected to our ancestors, which I know I personally I know how to connect it to our ancestors. But when I hear people teach and talk about Freemasonry, mm -hmm. we always seem to even the word P.H.E. It goes right back to Frank Higgins. And so one of the things, one of the things that's important to me when I do research, I try to, because Prophet Noble Drew Ali obviously says we must return back to the state of mind of our ancient forefathers. So is there any other sources beyond that free messing that uh, was uh, originated in 1923 by Frank Higgins? All right, let me say again, he did not coin anything. Hear me out. 
please. He did not. Your, Europeans did not coin any words. You're taking, you're taking words and giving credit to Europeans coining terms. Hear me out. Just like you have, and you if you study linguistics, we have what's called Sir Walter Jones. Sir Walter Jones is credited for what they call developing the Indo-European root system. Sir Walter, Sir Walter Jones studied at the University of Calcutta in 1717. He studied Sanskrit at the University of Calcutta and studying that, he, you know, so that so we have to go back to with their origin of a studying. But as far as coining terms, Europeans did not coin any terms. These words have ancient origins, ancient roots. So they've taken, so they've taken an existing, and then, so what they'll do is they'll transliterate, which means they'll reconstruct ancient forms. Just like the name Jesus, the name Jesus, going back to the Babylonian, you have the I O, the I U, the I A. These are these are these roots have these words have ancient roots. So I challenge that Frank Higgins coined anything. We're talking about existence of words. Well, well, I'm just saying that that Frank Frank Higgins was the the first time that word was ever even heard from 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 my studies. I haven't seen it before then. I haven't seen it used by the ancient Egyptians. Let me just say that I, I I've never seen it used by the ancient Egyptians uh, uh, before 1923. I actually study this very in depth. But let's move on to something else. Um, no, but I want to be, what, I want to be clear. All right, got we have two words. We have free and mason. free and mason. All right, right, mason right. free. P F E F right R E E Mason. We're talking about the origin of the words. So you're right. saying coined, because I'm not going to give credit to yeah. any. You know what I'm saying is the origin. The origin of the words is uh, presumptively is um, ancient Kemetic. That's the presumption of the word. Now, what I mean presumption of the word that. It was first spoke of from and by Frank Higgins. No, I, I, there is nothing in history that I can find that any of our ancestors actually used it in that combination. All right. The first one that used it in that combination, P-H-E, which means son, and I mean P-H-E, which means... P-H-R-E. P P P H oh my bad, my bad, my bad. P H R E means son and M A S means child. But we never we can't find an ancient comedic science um from the commissions actually using that term. But that's I'm, what, saying, that's what I'm saying all right. God, I, I think you're not understanding what I'm saying, brother. I'm not hear what you're saying, but I think you're not understanding what I'm saying. There are two separate words. Absolutely. I'm clear. Like, uh, yeah, there's two separate words. There have ancient roots. I am not going to give the Abiyan any credit for coining anything. I get taking, no, 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 Let me, I want for the audience to be clear because right. I'm not giving Abiyan any credit for coining anything when they're Bro, taking I understand, I understand words. What I'm saying. The first time that we hear the word in that combination is from a European, though. You, unless you can show me otherwise, there is no other place where we can find that combination besides Frank Higgins in 1923 is my I want the audience to be clear that the word free and the word Mason did not come from Frank Higgins. No, no. All right. I, listen, I'm, 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 no, I am hear what you said. I mean, they're, they're separate words. I, I, I talk, I'm clear. They're two separate words. I'm clear. So you don't have to repeat yourself. I'm very clear that two separate words. He took two separate words. I'm with you. This is what he did. I'm, so I'm acknowledging what you're saying. Frank Higgins took two separate words, ancient words, right? And he placed them together. I'm acknowledging that. I want the audience to be clear that he that that's what he did. 
But those right. words like, already existed. No, 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 no. no. The only thing I'm saying is that combination, that combination does not predate I'm acknowledging him. it. I'm acknowledging what you're saying. I want to. I don't want to. I don't want to belabor the point on that. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to belabor the point on that. Yeah, that that's yeah, another show. Yeah. I don't want to belabor the point on that. But what I want to do is, what got you so involved in the science of what we come to know as? And when I use the term uh, uh, um, masonry, I'm not using the term mm -hmm. in the term uh, uh, from the fraternal perspective. Uh, if I do, I'll underscore that. Uh, but what got you so involved? and invested in breaking down the sciences of masonry. All right. I wanted I wanted to I wanted to find a way to connect with our brothers and sisters who are in the orders, who are in the Eastern Star orders and Masonic orders. And when I was working on in 2010 working on Morrison Masonry I, I um, actually changed the title of my book about three or four times. And in fact, the, the, the title More is a Masonry um, comes from the Taj Tariq Bay, a title that he used in, the art, in our, one of the articles we had in the Al Rockin' Star newspaper in 2001. So I had asked Taj that I had permission to use the title More is a Masonry for my book. And I, I said I had that, that, that was like the third change. Because the, the, the previous titles were too long, so why, in 2010, while I was working on in the summer 2010, while I was working on, um, so since I changed the title, I needed to add a paragraph in the book explaining what masonry is. And as I was doing that, it's just my writing became long: two paragraphs, three paragraphs, four paragraphs, two pages, five pages, three. So it's just, and then, and then with the then I did extensive was doing come across a lot of articles dealing with the astronomy, you know, the two right. pillars and two pillars, you know, Boaz and Jockin marking the winter sauces and summer sauces. And, ooh, and what I what I observed is that each order took a piece. They took a piece of our of our math, took a piece of our astronomical charting. And I said, Oh, and I recognized that. And then I said, oh, I said to myself, I can use this approach to connect with a lot of our brothers and sisters by giving them the enlightenment and true meaning and understanding of what masonry is. Mm -hmm. So that, and that's so I, I, you know, that, that was my drive, was to develop right. a rapport and connection and bringing, uh, as I said to you in September of 2018, when I was on the show the first time, was my my purpose is to bring our brothers and sisters classified as black, Negro, colored, African American, who are in Eastern Star orders and Masonic orders and shrine into this Moorish movement. I mean, be conscious of their nationality, their Moorish nationality. Okay, so how, that's how, really that's have, my have, uh, uh, What's the level of success that you had uh, since you've been on this journey with that? Uh, yes, I uh, I actually connected with quite a few Masons since um, since then. As I was on Sanetta TV, a lot of Masons had reached out to me. I was on Sanetta TV for uh, since, since for the first time in set in uh, November 2011. I was in 2012, 2013. I got calls from Masons from all over the country. I've since connected. I've spoke. I've since since being at your um uh since um on being on your show, I've spoken at several um uh, lodges. I was also vended at a couple of Masonic um, conventions. Okay. So if you could start us off and give us some baby steps of what we need to know. But first, why is this so important to, for say, say the audience of Moorish World TV, Moors, uh, proclaim Moorish Americans and, and the like? Why is that why is this information so important? It's important because this is our this is our culture. It's important that that, that they that they be understand that that to connect with our ancient culture of timekeeping of calculating and measuring and charting time so what they're what they're what is known what is presented as masonic symbols are not symbols at all there are actual there are images that direct or have actual tools 
of charting charting time, of yeah. calculating time for seasonal change. But oh, I, okay. but we've been so our brothers and sisters have been conditioned that they're that they're mere symbols. In fact, one of the statements is made that is made is um I asked the question. It's been taught in the lodge that masonry is a beautiful system of art and craft, veiled in allegory and illustrated by symbols. But masonry is in fact a our ancient system of world culture of of and science of measuring time for calculating for agriculture, for navigation, for for harvesting, and also for planting. Do, do you do you are you are you of the thought that Europeans have used masonry and even some of our brothers, Asiatic brothers, have used masonry to form type of uh, fraternities to perpetuate the oppression of 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 those who have experienced, uh, if you will, the uh, the slave trade experience. In other no. words, do you think it has been used against us in in some ways? All right, let me. So I'm going to. I'm, Europeans have not used masonry in that way. All right, let me explain okay. so that we clear on what masonry is. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you a question. What time is it? This, really, what well, time? According, is it? according to the East Coast, it's nine o'clock right now. All right, so that's masonry. That's masonry. I just I I, I did that. I did that so I can place pe place the audience in this prop, the audience in the right frame of mind. When Tahaka gave me the time, he's practicing masonry, which means our, our ancient, our ancient science and culture. When he answered okay, the now, question, now you say that. Now you, I'm, I'm going to explain. You, I'm going to explain. Okay. All right. But I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to kiss it. I want to kiss it. That's why I asked you what time it is. To give you the, the the break it down to its element. It's something if that you see me looking time. down, I'm just looking at some of my notes that I took. Yeah. Okay, and I'm listening. I'm, I asked him the time, so that we can break it down to its common denominator. Relate that I can relate to everybody. That is masonry. When he gave me a time, so they're not practicing. They're not using masonry in that sense against us. They're distorting what masonry is. So when I say, so how is that time calculated? And they have what's called the point within the circle. The point, those who are in the orders, they they know they know the symbol called the point within the circle. Let me explain that. I can teach this to pre-K three. I can teach what I'm about right now to pre-K three. Point within the circle, what you would do, you you have a pole, a pole, right? And the, the pole, or what they call the Tekken or Washington Monument, the Washington Monument, all right, or Tekken, or you have a pole out in the open and you drop you 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 wrap a tire rope around it and you form a circle. And you see the, the shadow cast off the pole throughout the day. That's your clock. That's your clock. So the, that Tahaka gave me a time. And where did that come from? How, how was Tahaka able to give me the time? Where did that come from? Where did the concept of Tahaka give me the time come from? I'm pointing to that. And Masonic orders is called the point within the circle. They think is they don't understand not they don't tie this to what I'm talking about. They think it's a mere symbol. That's what I was about to ask you. How many people uh, uh, is of the thought in which you just express? Because I've never heard uh -huh. what, what I just heard from you is geometry and mathematics. I didn't hear Mason as as I've come to know. I see geometry okay. and mathematics, um, but. How many people uh, can hurdle over the concept of, you know what I mean, numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. It's mathematics. You know what I'm saying? How many people have hurdled over that and begin to call that masonry? All right. Tahaka, you did hear masonry. You did hear masonry. No, no. I, no what I'm saying is I hear you uh, describing something that is geometry, mathematics, right? However, you're saying- you. That this geometry and mathematics is masonry. 
no harm, no foul. Yes. What I'm saying is yeah. how many other people outside of you see it in just the way you just expressed it? You have, well, you far as far as the general public, not many as far yeah, as yeah. the general public. Okay. As far as the okay. general public, okay. not even in the lodge, not not even those in the lodge. Not many right. in the lodge right. understand the way I understand it. Not right. those who've been involved for 20 years don't understand where I'm standing. 30 years, 40 years. Right. right. Grandmasters don't understand what I'm saying. Yes. So so because they look at it because they've been they they only they look at it as just mere symbols. That's why they don't understand what I'm saying. They have not been given a proper orientation of it. They've been their orientation is just a it's what it's a beautiful system, a beautiful system of arts and craft. Brother, I can tell you, but they don't smile because and illustrated by symbols. They've been they've been conditioned into that. They wear it on hats. They wear it on rings. They wear it on pendants. They wear it on the back of the cars, t-shirts. On on on, on 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 they get the uh, uh, what's called laptop bags. All right, that's what they've been orientated to. In fact, when I in two a, a month after I was on your show, the month after I was on your show, this book came out. Right. A month after I appeared on Tahaka's show in September of 2018, I put this book out and I was I I I, I vend it for four days. And King of Pressure, they had the uh, Prince Hall. Prince Hall had a, a four-day convention. I've been to there. Over 500 brothers were there. In a four-day period, 200 brothers walked to, up to my table. 200 brothers asked me, am I Mason? I said, yes. Yes. We, uh, yes. So I'm not... I'm not a member of an order, so I made it very clear. So yes, I'm a Mason, as Masonry is our more science and culture. I am not a member of the order, so I, I so I made it very clear to that. I never said no. I would never, ever, ever, ever answer no, ever. Right. So when you say you're not a, a, a member of an order, and a lot of, but a lot of what you teach is a derivative that comes out of the order. As I was looking through your book, you broke down uh, uh, the this, this symbol or the symbolism of the Masonic floor. Um, and, and so it's, it's kind of like, okay, you're not of an order, but a lot of what you teach is a derivative that comes out of the order. Why is that? Well, it, doesn't. it doesn't come out of the order. I mean, no, what I'm saying, the, the, symbolism, the symbolism in which they're using I'm looking at like, okay, I look at the, the compass in the square, right? Let's use that for example, the compass in the square. I look at the compass in the square and I look, I see you break down the compass in the square, but you know, in reality, um, the Europeans has, has, has used that as their symbolism to represent what we call masonry. And that's not, we can find it for them. It's not a symbol. Right. No, I'm talking about the compass in the square. I, I, you know I mean? It's not a symbol. It's, a symbol. it's not a symbol. It's not a symbol. I'm, but it's on it's the not. apron. What would you call it if it's, it's not, not a symbol? I'm going to explain. Going to explain. It's not a symbol. Okay. You have two. You have two measurement devices. Right. Bow compass. A bow compass that you use in math class. You use the bow compass. Because you have a you have a compass, right? A navigational compass, right? And you have what's called a bold compass that Tahaka used in math class, right? With a pencil, all right. right? With a pencil, all right. So and then so when you have they, this is used in this is used in in the in, in um in um the Naval Academy, the Naval Academy, right? You talk to somebody who went to the Naval Academy who study astronomy, all right? In the Naval Academy, they'll have they'll have that bold compass, right? And a map. And they're they're, right. they're looking at the distance between two point points, right? They, that's that bow compass. Then you have your plummet square. Tasha right. Bay, who's a Tasha Bay, is a carpenter, and he used a plummet square. All right, so they're not symbols. You have the plummet square, and you have the bow compass. So what I'm doing, Taka, today's show, is 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 masonry. A science and culture 
or is a secret society? So, so that's on flash. So they're not, it's not a symbol, it's two. So those are images of two devices for measurement, the bow compass and plummet square. Right. So, so the point that I'm making is that they're, they're, they're putting together and they're making a symbol. That's the point that I'm making. Right. But what I'm saying is just how you just broke it down. You're speaking of you're speaking of you're speaking of the application of the tools. But they so. So, for instance, it's like the symbol of arm and hammer and the lady or the guy holding the hammer. That is the symbol. Now, we know that what the hammer is used for, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But the symbol of arm and hammer is the man holding the hammer. I'm saying that the symbol that the European use for Freemasonry is the compass in the square. And I'm saying that when we look at that from the European using that, and then we commence to break that down, um, it's connecting right back to the European. All right, what's, what's this, Taka? What's this? That appears to be the sun. It's not. The, thank you. It's not the sun. That's why I say it's appears. Not it, it appears. appears. All right. So, so I, so that's because the sun is out. The sun I'll see in the morning. I'll see this. Tahaka will see the sun in the morning. All right. So, 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 so you can draw, you know, an image, but it would not be the sun. It would be, a, you know, so therefore be a symbol. All right. But it would not be the sun. All right. So I, I did that to make a point. You know, you know, the point I'm making, I hear what you're saying. Yes. So a, a hammer, an image of the hammer can be used as a symbol of power. All right. But it's not the actual hammer. So you have what's called associative meaning or connotative meaning. Related yeah, to is, if, if the European, if the European would not have used that symbol to represent what they call Freemasonry for over uh, uh, what since the 1700s, then we probably wouldn't be having this conversation in relation to the the, the right. square and the, the compass in the square and the axe. Well, the, the well, what, point but we is, do I'm, know I'm, it predates the European as it relates to uh, true well, that's uh, brick mason. For. That's the tools of the brick mason, also. Tahaka, that's why I'm here. I but everybody doesn't know that Tahaka. What you just right. said, all right? You said something that many people do not know. You you just said, well, it predates a lot of people. Our brothers and sisters don't know that, right? Taka, our brothers and lies don't know that, what you just said. So I want to be, I want to be very clear that that's not well known. They associated with the lodge. Right. I got you. I got you. Uh, that's why. I got yes. You. I got you. I got you. What do you, what do you think? Hey brother. And I would like to do, I, I'm going to do, cause man, you, 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 uh, 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 my brother, uh, reached out to me, man. You know, he, 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 your, he your number one. <laughs> <laughs> that's my brother. That's that's my bro. Brother that's Kawaza. my bro. I love yeah, my, my bro. Kawaza. Thank you, brother Kawaza. Thank you. Yeah, I love my bro. That's my bro. He he he's a ride or die uh, yes, he uh, on both yes, sides yes, of, of the square. Die, yeah. Yes, he is. But with that being said, so I want to do a, like three or four shows on this because one show is not going to cover everything. Of course. But not. in this in this in this introduction to the mm -hmm. Moorish World TV audience, because you know some questions are going to come. So maybe next week, we might have to do this maybe once a week for the next few weeks. And um, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't because mind. I really want to... I really want to. I really want to delve deep deep in the book, but I do want to get our feet wet with those who watch yeah, more yeah, on TV, and then we absolutely. can come back and then dive into the book. But what absolutely. do you think is one of the most important uh, lessons that should be taught from what you have studied uh, as it relates to masonry? I would. I would say what I gave you earlier: the point within the circle, because okay. I can. I can teach that to pre K three. I can teach the I can teach the astronomical origin of a clock to pre-K three. And this is how I would do it. Just those who okay. he might want to be able to teach it to their, you know, three-year-old, four, five-year-old. All right. You get them involved. You don't have you don't sit them down at a board or nothing. You get them involved in actually, actually, you know, um, um getting getting black construction paper for the shadow marks. You actually get them involved in cutting up the, the strips. For the shadow mark, right? And and if you talk about in the classroom, then you have 
then you also have them become the clock, like one o'clock, like some you know, student will stand with a sign, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, all right? Because then they'll see the, the shadow. But first you will show a video. You will show a video of someone planting a pole in an open field and then showing the shadow casting off that. You show the video and then you get them involved in building the construction all right, for the demonstration. I guarantee you, the pre-K-3 student will go home that same day. They will be so excited and they will say, they will teach them, so, oh, mommy, daddy, mommy, grandma, mommy. They'll go to go to the broom, they'll go get a broom. Yeah, this is what we learned today. It's you no, know, it's you put this, you put the, the broomstick here, mommy, you know, right there, and the shadow cast, you know, yeah, that's the clock. That's the clock, mommy and daddy. Right. Right. So I'm, well, I'm bringing not- up the cover of your book and I'll screen share this real quick. I'm bringing up the cover of your book. And to my point that I was making earlier, um, that a lot of these um, symbols that we see on the cover of your book, most importantly, mm-hmm. uh, the, the G Knights Templar and the one the at the bottom. Triangle, right? The spherical triangle, the, the, yeah. the, the equilateral, the equilateral spherical triangle. But the, the, the one thing I wanted to say is triangle. that these symbols, these symbols, as we look uh-huh. at them, have its its beginning. The representation w- you, being used predates the European. We get that, but the way that they look in these picture, these are designs by Europeans, All right. not us. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, let me, let, me, so how can, let me explain. Let me explain. The bottom one with the circle triangle, that is the mm-hmm. that is the equilateral spherical triangle. All right. If someone who knows math, someone who knows math, Tahakam, they will be able to see that and be able to make that connection like that. Who understand as soon as I say it, because they have a they they've been taught math. I said, if I say to them a spherical equilateral triangle, you're right. Abdullah. But- but, but no, Abdul, no, at the same time, no. at the same time, at the same time, it's the symbol of a fraternity of the order of the Holy Royal Ark. So no, it, no, Tahaka, that, that's they developed that. They developed that it, for, for their symbol. Now, do it, it got mathematical math- equations? It, of course, it, I have mathematical equations. But the point that I'm making is, is that the order of the Holy Royal Arch, they they. Created this. You're giving uh, them credit, Tahaka. You're giving them credit, though. You can keep connecting it to them. Bro, no. Listen, what keep... I'm saying. I want you to hear me clear. I'm not. I'm not connecting our sciences to them. What I'm connecting is the remix to them. That we're taking the remix. Now we're trying to remix the remix. I know. We never I'm created explain- this, this. We never created that. this glyph right here. You I'm can't not doing find that glyph nowhere in ancient I'm Kemet, explaining. No I I'm ex- I can explain the equilateral spherical triangle and math. Let me explain the top part. The night night. Nice what I'm saying. But you're explaining no. their creation. I, they created Tahaka. this glyph. If I created a design, right? If I took a paper like Wait, like this seven Tahaka, behind. Let me, Tahaka, let me listen to Tahaka. this. Hold on one second, brother. If I create this this logo for Morris World TV seven. And it got the circle around it. It got the seven right there. And it got the letter right underneath the seven. If you attempt to break that down, then that's fine. There's no no harm, no foul. But in fact, I created it. You see what I'm saying? You may have all the mathematical. You might say the red goes around the seven and the seven represent God and the red represent the sun. You might even be close to what my thought was when I created it. But I created it. And so the Tahaka. point that I'm making is you're taking something that they have taken from us, from the science. They put an image to it, remixed it, and now you're breaking it down. Tahaka. Like right, Tahaka, what I'm doing is explaining its meaning. They kept but they, through, this, but is the creator Tahaka. of this using the same meaning? Tahaka, Tahaka. Let me let me give me a chance to explain, brother. No, no, I am, I am, I am. You, I'm, I'm, I told you I'm about to give you some challenging questions because no, but no, 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 is, brother, no, brother. You, but I'm saying, you, all right, I don't mind the challenging questions, but you got to give me opportunity. 
opportunity yeah, to I'm, explain I, I am, I am, I am. At, at some point, I'm going to just sit down and let you go. Baby, you can't. The challenging questions are fun. you got to give me a chance to explain. Okay, come on. The the Knights Orders, the Knight Templar, what they've done is that they have, they keep the science in mind when they are, when they created that. When they created that, that symbol that used for the Knight Orders, they didn't, it wasn't done arbitrarily. It was done with the ancient knowledge of the ancient science in mind. So they're maintaining that and expressing. So when you see the tilt, the cross is tilted at a 23.5 degree angle. When you see artwork, what Michelangelo did, come, come, come join the coalition, Michelangelo did, he put the science, the, 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 the geometry in the artwork he put the cosmological scheme so they're maintaining the knowledge of the cosmological scheme in the artwork. Like for instance, they'll have, like say you draw somebody who understands, but I understand. They will, they will tell me, Abdullah, tilt your head at a 23.5 degree angle, right? And someone who understands like myself, what I would do is I would measure that. I would measure the artwork. I would have, oh, that's tilted, Abdullah's head it's tilted at a 23.5 degree angle. Oh, the artist understands the cosmolo the ancient cosmological scheme. So what they're doing is maintaining our, our ancient science of the cosmological scheme of, of measurement and timekeeping as it's encoded in the layout of cities, as in, encoded in the design of statues. There's a book called the Temple and Man by Swallow Du Libet. Lubet. Swallow Du Libet. He measured the temple of Abu Simba using five, 1.618, the divine proportion, the golden mean. And what he observed in his measurement that the fingertips, each portion of the body, the length of the fingers, the length of the finger um, nail, the length of the hand, arms, that it represents a cosmological scheme, which means, let me explain further. What I what our ancestors did was we encoded the measurement, the circumference, the diameter, the radius of the earth, moon, sun, the planets. We encoded that knowledge in the layout of cities and the design of statues. So by, by examining the, the, the measurements of statues, the layout of cities, of buildings, we maintain the cosmological scheme and everything we did. The Europeans are doing, are maintaining this ancient knowledge. That's why I wanted to give me a chance to explain. And, and, and I understand that, but the what I'm, what only thing I'm saying is that what we're doing is we're looking at what they created from what we created, and we're trying to break down what they created from what we created. They're maintaining that, I don't the see a lot of sense in that. Mean, brother, they're maintaining huh? the ancient... Yeah, huh? No, you hear me? Do, do you... Yeah, yeah, I can hear you well. Can you hear me? I'm saying that... All right. that They're maintaining the ancient sciences are just like they, they just, just, just like the Confederate what flag. The okay, I'll wait till you finish. Go ahead, say it. Say it no, the this Confederate is, this flag. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Go no, ahead, no, brother. this is good. Bro, this, uh, brother, throw a thousand questions at me. I can ask. <laughs> brother, the cut, the, the, the Confederate flag. What, what's this? What does Black Panther do? What does Black Panther do? What does Black Panther do? You see it on the Confederate flag, arms crossed. Where did it get that from? What does that mean? What does that mean? So they, the children are doing this because they see Black Panther doing it, but they have no idea what it means. The children do not have an idea right. of what this means. You'll see the arms cross on ancient Egyptian statues. The arms cross and they're carrying, they're holding an ankh in each hand. 
What that means, you have the tropical cross and the galactic cross. The orange cross like this is the galactic cross that has cosmological knowledge when you, that deals with the catastrophe of the universe, measuring the catastrophe. Every, so you're looking at 12,500 years. Every 12,500 years, the tropical cross, all right, and the galactic cross, the X, intersects. So you have the you have the, the, the celestial equator, and then you have the, the tropical, the celestial equator, and the Milky Way intersects every 12,500 years. What occurs is catastrophe. Our ancestors had this knowledge. The Europeans are preserving this knowledge of timekeeping and measurement. And they main and they, so yes. They created though, that particular symbol. I'm agreeing, but they did this with the main, this, this in mind of maintaining the cosmological knowledge. This is what I want our brother and sister to see. Okay, so so let me ask you: Can we pinpoint where that knowledge come from, emphatically before the European got a hold of it? Who, yes, it's in my Masonic purpose. It's in my Masonic Compass Square book. Yes, yes. You have who? I'm asking I'm, I'm, who, I'm, 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 where, I'm getting, when. All right. You have what's called Stonehenge. Stonehenge. New Grange. Who did that? So That's Stone, what I'm saying. I'm trying to connect the two. Our ancestors, the, the Druids, the Druids that look like Tahaka, the Druids that look like Tahaka over 10,000 years ago, and what they called England, 10,000 years ago, Mark Chart built the Stonehenge. They look like Tahaka. They built the Stonehenge, which marks the winter solstice and summer solstice points. And you have other, other points throughout the world, other charts, other ancient sites that chart the sun. They have what's called sunstone circles. I have in my book. I have the locations in my Masonic Compass and Square book. Throughout the world of sunstone circle, I show that this knowledge was well known, was universal worldwide, and is ancient. Let me be the angel's advocate for a second. A lot of things that we see around the world, and we're quick to say that our ancestors did it, but we never can pinpoint a name, time, or space. You know, do, do you find that a, a, a little bit? As a researcher for me, um, I need I need confirmation and I need cross references. I need sources. And when you say you know we build a uh, 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 um, we built the time and uh, let me go to the let me go to the section. Let me go to the section. All right. Let me go to the section of the book. I right? said built the time. <laughs> Brother, what I did was. I show my point of my book is to show that this science is ancient and universal. And that the, and you see that you see that in stone, sunstones, they're called sunstone circles. Sunstone circles. And I'm gonna let me um Medicine wheel, sunstone circles. So let's uh, page uh, 45, all right. Page 45. That's also known as medicine wheels. So you just you Google medicine, medicine wheel, you Google sunstone circles, and you'll, you'll see them and uh, all throughout the world. You'll see sunstone circles throughout the world. All right. Um, no, it's not page forty-five. All right, just keep on. Continue to talk to Haka while I'm looking for it. Well, no, you all right. You all right. So, so family, I, I hope y'all don't get uh, really. Uh, bothered by my style of interview. My style of interview is a challenging style of interview. I don't like to do interviews that just get along and agree with all the information that goes because um, I also no, no, have. No, I'm fine. Not to you. I'm talking to. I'm talking to. The, I'm talking to the people. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Um, I also have 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 have, have a deep, um, I guess, insight and a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the system of masonry as perpetrated and perpetuated by Europeans. I've, 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 I've studied it through and through, but I've studied it for different reasons. I studied it because many people uh, like to claim that Prophet Noble Drew Ali uh, was a fraternal, uh, in, a, in a fraternity, you know, that he was a shriner, that he was a mason. And so I went to study it in depth to try to find out if it was true. You know, and what I come to see is that it's not true. Um, And actually, I'm going to have a presentation coming soon and I'm going to show the science of what they demonstrate and what Morris science demonstrate and what they demonstrate uh, is is convoluted. It is what it is. It's convoluted. It's it's not uh, uh, the science. Uh, in the purest form of what our ancestors demonstrated. Um, I'm going to take people, I'm asking questions where um, that I've studied and I pretty much um, studied to the point where I can comfortably say that I understand it um, to represent uh, my uh, understanding as a Moorish American adapt. You know what I'm saying? As a Moorish American adapt, I understand what's really going on and i'm actually doing a presentation on that soon so this is this is right on time and also i'll be bringing my brother back uh to uh to cover he got two books and these are pretty nice little books nice and thick books that we'll be going over (laughs) so that's good so family always hit the thumbs up always hit the share um the link if you want a copy of the book uh that we're talking about tonight will be in the comment section just below it will also uh, um listen listen whether you are a mason whether you are interested in the knowledge thereof uh of masonry or you're as as taught by europeans <laughs> or the knowledge of masonry as abdullah is breaking down the science you know all knowledge is relative all knowledge is relative. So if you look at the masonry as taught by Europeans, and then you look at the masonry that is, as our brother say, it's a culture from Abdullah, then you have a way to compare and you can make a true educated decision because I've studied it from all angles, all sides. I looked at every fraternity. I looked at, I looked at the Prince Hall. I, lo- I looked at everything. I'm telling you, I ain't play. I looked at everything. I look at the ancient and the septic, right? The Royal uh, Order of Scotland, the Order of the Red Cross of Constantine, Order of the Knights of the Beneficent <laughs> and the Holy City. I looked at everything to try to see if uh, the Maury Science Temple of America uh, was an extension of the Masonic Temple as taught by the Europeans or Prince Hall or the um, the ancient order uh, Shriners. So, and I got I want, some good answers. I want I want to challenge you, brother. I want to challenge Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Uh-huh. All right, because I I'm I was listening to you. See what you were doing was seeing that as the origin, seeing the lodges as the origin. Absolutely not. They, Absolutely not. They are not the origin. To see if that the make that that more science temple, yeah, has its origin in European for total mason. Brother, I once again, I'm brother, but you were still you all right, but you're still looking at the what you call symbolism though, Tahaka. Yeah, yeah, and you're I still, have all right. I have to. All right. No, no, no. no. It let me, it exists. All right. Let me tell you what I'm challenging. When I'm telling you what I'm challenging. Okay. You're looking at the symbols. I let's say the compass is square because you said the compass is square, and then you were saying that, for instance, because you, you, because your idea, your understanding of the compass is square that was a symbol, that a symbol, and no, I said to Europeans, you, from Europeans. Let's be clear. Let's be no, clear. I'm using. I'm I'm using the compass and square as expressed by the European on their regalia. 
That's the only I thing I'm talking that. about. But I'm saying, but you're still using, all right, you're still taking their, their, how they're presenting it. All right. And I'm saying to you that it's one, it's not a symbol. No, what it's, I'm telling you, okay, I, okay, I get what you're saying. Let me say, let me say, let me let me show you what I'm saying. I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Uh compass and square. All right, let me let me show you what I'm talking about. I know, when, I know what you're talking about. Know when, talking when we look at when we look at this here, let me pull it up real quick. When mm -hmm. we look at this here, um, when we look at this compass and square as as expressed by the Masons, right? The European Masons. Yeah, we already, we already this, but go ahead. Right? Mm -hmm. Let me pull it up real quick. Give me one second. If we look at this, and let me screen share real quick. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. We look at this, and we begin to have a conversation about this. What I'm saying is, what is this conversation all about? Because our ancestors has never illustrated this symbol for us. Europeans illustrated this. This is what I'm saying. This is the, so I want to be clear what I'm saying though. I'm yeah. asking and I'm I'm elaborating. I'm saying that the Europeans illustrated this symbol. And for us to come back on Monday night and break down the illustration of their symbol that expresses our ancient sci science is redundant because we did I'm not, not create I'm not this doing symbol to, I'm to, not doing to, to express our science. Europeans created this symbol to express and articulate our science according to their understanding of what they come to know. Now, is it right and exact? Hey, I leave that up to researchers like you. But what I'm saying is, what was the Mason symbol of our ancestors before the European articulated, drew this up and sketched this to be that? It wasn't, all right, you take you take them apart, take them apart, take them apart, take the bow compass, separate the bow compass, right, from the plummet square. Our ancestors did not put them together like that, would you? But so how... Take take the bow compass away. Se separate both of them. Separate the bow compass. Separate the the the, the pep square. Right. So let's let's do let's do that. That's what I do. That's what I do. I, I get that. I get that. No no no, I, no. Tahaka. You ask me a question. You say what do you do? You separate them, showing them that they're separate. They're separate, and show them the function. Show how our ancestors use them as tools, so, right? So, brother, you know what? It, it sounds as if you have developed your, and nothing is wrong with this. There's no, no disrespect intended. It seems like you have developed your own interpretation of what Europeans have presented of our science. I didn't know that's what it's. Oh, no, because, no, hold on, hold on, again, hold on. our ancestors. Hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You made a, you made a statement, and I said no. And I give me, let me give you. Let me give, let me support my no. Let me support my no. Because no doesn't mean anything if I can't support my no. I'm refuting what you're saying, right? My book is, is refuting my book and the references and the sources that I have in my book, pointing to art, ancient sites, sunstone circles, other sites, over a hundred references. Refute what Tahaka says about me. Tahaka said that I have developed my own understanding. I'm refuting of Tahaka. their symbols. Of their no, symbols. No, no. Of, Give me these enough. are not our symbols here. These are no, no, not these. No, 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 brother, brother, everything on your book is not created brother, by our ancestors. None brother, of this. Brother, brother. I'm refuting your claim that I have developed my own interpretation of these European and I'm symbols. I'm refuting that. Okay, I let have me ask you a question. Who Sorry. created who created uh, uh, the symbol? Uh, I'm going to finish my point. Who created the symbol of the Order of the Royal? Uh, uh, who created I'm going, the symbol? I'm going, 
I'm uh, going to the finish order my of the point. Holy Royal Ark. I'm going to Who finish my you? point. Before I, all right, I'm going to finish my point. So, because okay. I want the, I want the viewers, I want the viewers. This is also for the viewers. Absolutely, and that's I why want I'm the challenging. Viewers. Some of the I know I want to challenge. Questions. Please, too, challenge me. Uh, but I want the viewers to know that I did not develop my own understanding. I want the viewers to be able to go to be able to look at my book and see for themselves that I did not develop my own understanding. That's where I'm coming from. That's what I'm refuting. I'm sh I show documentary evidence. I show archaeological evidence of ancient brother, sites. Brother, brother, I no, get no, that no, 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 it's important. No, Tahaka, it's important for the Doctor, you're asking me questions, but we're going to have people listening. So it's right. important for the listeners to be clear that I did not develop my own understanding. That's my point I'm making. All right. All right. So, so well, let, me, let me do it this way then. I'm going to save this image real quick. So we can, uh, let me do it this way. Well, let me, because I want to be clear what I'm saying. Because I don't want no no confusion in what I'm saying. What I'm saying is something very basic and simple. What I'm saying is, you looked at this symbol that we obviously did not create. Our ancestors did not create this symbol. This symbol was created from the understanding that the Europeans got from our sciences. And he interpreted it with this symbol. Now you're coming back and interpreting the symbol, which they created. This is what I'm saying is you are developing your unique interpretation of their interpretation. No, I'm not. I refute because that. Because this is not ours. But I refute that. I refute Bro, that. It's on your book, brother. I, I'm not saying I'm refuting You're that. Breaking, I, you, you actually broke this down in this conversation. Brother, brother I'm refuting that I developed my own. I'm refuting that. Let me ask you a question. Saying, Did you just brother, break this down in our conversation? But, yes, but I'm refuting who that created I... created this? Why? Right, Let me again, ask you. Brother. Who created this? All right. Hold on, hold on brother. I'm like, brother. All right, brother, I'm going to answer one question at a time, brother. Okay. All right. I hear you can ask, brother. I'm gonna, brother okay, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I got guy. you. I don't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'll be good. I'll be good. All right? Because I want the listeners to be very clear. Someone who understands math. This is knowledge is taught in math. It's taught in math. If you're looking at plain trigonometry and spherical trigonometry, when I studied, when I looked at spherical, when I came across the term spherical trigonometry, S P H E R I C A L, spherical trigonometry, and you have what's called plain trigonometry. When I was studying spherical trigonometry, and I and I and I saw, you know. A, a, I have a book called the Little Little Ship Navigation Book. It was a navigational club developed by a European years ago. I came across the book, and I and he had he had us he had the the uh, equilateral triangle with a globe. And I said, "Oh shucks, oh!" So my my and my studying the math, I saw how the the application. Of, of the spherical trigonometry applied in astronomy. And I was looking at different, the different, the, 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 uh, the, the, the triple circle, the triple circle, the, um, the equilateral the spherical triangle. So, ooh, ooh, that's what it, that, I said, I did not develop my own. I'm studying, I'm, I want the viewers to understand. It's called spherical trigonometry and astronomy. If you study that, you will see what I'm talking about. I take pride to be a scholar. I take pride in that. I take I, I, pride, I, I, I don't mind the question. I, I don't mind the question. Please, yes, a thousand of them. 
no, no, no. I take very I get, pride. I get, exactly what you, I get exactly what you're saying. The only thing, the okay. So let me let me rewind real quick. Now the question is, I asked you earlier, who, when, what, and where? Those are the key questions that you asked in science and how. Who, what, when, and where? Who is the ancestor amongst us who coined the term Mason? All right. I said, I answered the question earlier to Haka. You have two words. You have but three. no, I'm asking who, 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 who. I understand that. Who? All right. Well, you want me to give you a name going back 10,000 years? No, I don't no, have give me a talk about our ancestors. I, 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 talk, I don't talk. You said who? That means one person. I've talked about yeah, our yeah. ancestors. Our ancestors developed languages. All right. We developed the, the hieroglyphs, Taka. We developed so, and put so, so where, in the, where Tanaka, in the hieroglyph? Where Tanaka, in the hieroglyph? Where in where in where in the Tanaka, Mendu Tanaka, can we Tanaka, find? I'm not doing, Tanaka, no, 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 Taka. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Bro. No, what I'm asking is where yeah. in the Mendu I'm, I'm, I'm not done, Tanaka. But I'm not done, Taka. I'm not done. So I'm not doing that. What's that? Is it in the Mendu No, no, what I'm saying is I'm not gonna stop mixed stream. What I'm saying, I'm telling you what I'm not gonna do. I'm no, no, not no, going to. I'm, I'm this, I mean, you don't have yeah, to go but, and research. But I'm not. But I'm not, saying because I'm not. That. Yeah, but I, once again, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Do what, I'm not going to stop. Mitch. No, what I'm saying is. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not. But I'm not going to stop. Uh, but I'm not going to stop midstream while I'm talking. And then you inject another question. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. Finish, finish your statement. Finish your statement. Because right, I do right, want that. I want the who. I want the who. But I'm saying that. Because I want the audience to learn. So our ancestors develop language. Because you're asking who, I'm answering the question. Our okay. ancestors develop language. So we put sound. You, okay, so what I'm asking you now is, when did it enter into our ancestors lexicon or language in in history where can we find it when did it enter into the modern english language no not english, not english. it predates right. english you say i know i'm that. asking you, i know that I'm i know that. You, that but that's why in the Matthew nature where can we find it what's the glyph um what's the stella right as far as the term free in the no, no, masonry, me. either or, either or, any of it. I, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not aware of the glyph to that right now. I'm not aware of the glyph. Okay, not aware right. of the, that's, the glyph. that's what I'm asking. You know, because as a, as a, as a serious researcher, I love mm -hmm. to like to go and examine and look look for things and and show and prove for myself. Now, but forget and that. Let's, go, let's move on. Let's, let's move on. Now, now well, we want to make it clear that the, it wasn't coined by the Albions. That's all. Because no, no word. No word was developed by the Yabiyan. Yeah, but if we're going to say that, if we if if we're going to say that, which I agree in in part, I agree in part. You know what I'm saying? What I mean in part, uh, the the European he he when he came out the hills, all he could do is grunt. I agree in part. Mm -hmm. However, he has created a, a, a variations of spoken word from our spoken translation. word. Translation. Translation is called yes. translation. Absolutely. And so it's because we know because we know that to be true, then we should be able to pinpoint when words like Freemasonry entered into the lexicon it, wherever it entered into. Enter into the English language, modern English language. No, no, forget the English language no, before no, no. English. No, I know that Tahaka. When I say enter into the lex, when you say enter into the lexicon, in all right, it's called oh, the word. Whatever it's language the word, before English, uh, I know that it's called transliteration. Words coming, but that are transliterated from you know from the Egyptian to the Greek, from Egyptian to or what may call metaneta to Greek to Greek to from Greek. To Latin, from Latin to French, or or classical Latin, 
So it's so it, it's changing. It's being reconstructed into modern forms. So the, when did it enter into? When was it reconstructed into modern English form? So before we even get to that, let's get to the origin of where they I, picked it from. All right, you I, haven't you I, haven't gotten there yet. I got gave that to you earlier. No, you said you said from the Medinetta, but you can't tell me the Stella. Yeah, you but, can't can't tell tell me right. but I'm saying that the P because the well the P the P H R E and Messin M E S S E N that was not coined by them. Or that no, what I'm saying UK. is I'm only that, asking you one. Uh, I'm, I'm asking you one. No, look, I answer the question. I do not know the glyph to Hakka. I answer the question. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm saying so, Let me ask. You, I, what, what is your ultimate? Tahaka, what is, I do not know the glyph. I'm, okay, I'm moving forward. What 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 that. is your what is your ultimate goal when it comes to uh your books? As because now next time uh, uh within a day or two we're going to go into the book and I'm going to be asking you straight from the book. I'm asking you straight from the book and then I'm going to let you express. Well, I'm going to shut up. I wish I'm not. I, I thought you was gonna do that tonight, but that's cool. <laughs> well, no, we 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 like an hour and a half. No, I want to introduce. See, yeah, you want to do? I got you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but we, we can come back and do. We can come back. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, we can. yeah. I got some time tomorrow. We can do part two tomorrow, going into the book. But I don't want to do it in one one spread and mix it up. Right now, no, we're gonna course, introduce. Course, course. We're gonna we're gonna battle have, a little bit. Yeah, I don't have time tomorrow from two to seven. But, but no, we'll talk, we'll talk. Then your next free yeah, moment, yeah, yeah. your next free moment. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I want this to be our introduction to Moorish World TV 7. And let me thank you for coming on Moorish World TV 7. We're going to upload it on Moorish World TV also. I'm going to put you yeah. on all the platforms. This is this platform is really, really good. And it's, this relates to a lot of Moorish thought and a lot of, uh, uh, um, a lot of Masons watch the show now. They waiting for me. The last video I did about masonry, it did over 80,000 views. That was a few That's years good. ago. Uh, <laughs> so they, so I'm telling you, when I put it on Morse World, this is Morse World TV 7, but I'm going to put it on Morse World TV Media, yeah. Morse World Media, and Morse World uh, TV. And Morse mm -hmm. World TV is where uh, one, of my, one of my shows, they got over 80,000 views talking about masonry. Mm -hmm. And so I know that this is an interesting topic. Of and so the reason, why, the reason why I challenge you is because, you know, we, we want to stimulate the thoughts of those who are watching to say, OK, let me research that. Or the Masonic brother that may look at you and say, well, he don't know what he's talking about. So if I ask you the hard questions, then guess what? Now you elaborate and some of the Masonic brothers will look and say, whoa, I never heard that before. Now let me go back and check. No, no, no. So I'm I'm, I appreciate that. that. No, I'm not. I was it's just. I appreciate that. I just wanted to have I opportunity. Wanted to say thank you, man, for coming for coming on Morris World TV Seven, man. And it's been a it's been a long time. I'm I'm freed up now for the most part to get this done. All right. uh, what happened was my channel was attacked by those yeah, who. Told me that, yeah. Yeah, they don't really want this information out. They don't want me calling people out. Just the way, the same way I gave you some of the challenge <laughs> questions. And to the audience, they might think that we're going at each other, but that's not no, the case at all. But no, I'm gonna I tell got, you what I, I want to do next, for you, bro. Bro, let's do you. this. Let's do this, bro. Let's do the next interview live. I come to Philadelphia next week. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, the last time, or 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 me. Me, you, and Taj, I'll talk to uh, Taj nephew and see if we can all get together and we can meet uh, in Delaware, where me and Taj met before. Me and right, Taj met there like two or three times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, Taj we, tell me he met you. He, yeah, we met like three times well, in private. You know, well, I, but Tahaka, all right. I want to, well, I want to focus, like, let's finish this series of my book. Cause then that yeah, we definitely, definitely, definitely. You know but I mean? but I would love to, I would love to have just a casual interview with you and Taj too. You 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 all got history, brother. That that the yeah, average yeah. you Taj. I would love to find that's nature. We do. Uh, we do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is like a history that's a gold mine that people don't know. People see Taj on the internet. They don't personally know Taj. They don't know. No, they not. see me and Taj go back and forth about Morris signs. They don't know that Taj, uh, 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 when he see me, he hugged me. They don't know that. 
They don't know when he see my son okay. and my son named Taj. He said, hey, little, T they don't know that. And so I really, mm -hmm. one day soon, uh, coming soon, I want to underscore some of the travels that y'all have had. Y'all have, have did a lot of traveling, bro. That's fact. And when I say That's traveling, fact. I'm not talking about, you know, are you a traveler? No, I'm talking about from the no. back, from the, from back in the day, y'all have done a lot, and I would love to underscore that's that. That's so a fact. after this that's series, a fact. that's, that's a what we're jumping on. All now, right. That's a fact. Where are we going to start in the book? I should go get my book right now. It's up on my bookcase. Where do you want to start first? Um, and then when you tell me your next free day, that's what we're doing. Well, what? Uh, am I available? Um, no, no, no. Where do you want to start in the book first I mean, so I can through. get myself? Because we're going to take about three shows to go through your book. All right. Yes. I wanted to talk about the... I want to... You know what, Tahaka? I want... On page seven. I want to start on page seven because I have a case. There's a case, the ancient Egyptian Arabic order versus Mishore. Uh, This is a, a case... I actually wanted to get into this tonight, but I won't. Uh, I want to start with this case where the uh, the Egyptian, the uh, European order of the ancient Arabic, ancient Arabic order of the Noble Mr. Shrine in Houston, Texas, sued our brother and sister, filed an injunction, filed for an injunction, forbidding to forbid our brothers and sisters from wearing the Moorish feathers, news the Moorish names. I want to start with that. I want this case. Let's and, do and that. That's what I'm saying. And then I'm going to go. Then we go this show is closed. This show is closed, and we open up straight yes. up to that, and you break that down. Yeah, um, that's I'm ready you ready. Your next availability, you tell me. Next week, um, Sunday, I think I got, um, I got something. So I got the uh, yeah, that's Christmas, right? Sunday, next Sunday. I don't have a clue. I don't yeah, have yes, a clue. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, we got, um, we got something. To, we got a show that day. So Any, um, anytime during the week. But, but we could do it during the day, though. But remember, during Sunday the day, it's going to be pre-recorded, and then and once we get to, once we get on, so, so is, are you available Saturday? I'm available before Saturday. If any time uh, before, I would love to keep it going before. Oh, well, 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 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. Let's Let's you tell Tuesday. me. Can you tell me this? Tuesday. All right. Let's Tuesday. do Tuesday around noon. We'll do Tuesday like noon. we do like Tuesday noon to two. noon to two. Noon to two. I want to start to with the case. I want to start with this case. Yeah, because brother, you got, you got, you got, brother, brother, you, we, we, we can't talk in one show like we did before. This is a new era of time now. We got to, we got to dig into that work. No, 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 I'm with you. I didn't, I didn't, I'm, I'm, I'm open to doing it. <laughs> we got to dig into that. And plus, and plus my brother, plus my brother, uh, I want to make sure that my brother is represented properly. And that's my brother Vega who reached out to me. You know what I mean? I want to make sure yeah, that yeah, brother, yeah, I, brother um, got Kawaza. Yep. Yes. Yeah, Kawaza. Yeah. I want to make sure I want to make sure he is represented properly. In other that's words, true. you represent him. He represents you. So you coming yeah, on this show. Oh, he, brought, yeah, really he made it happen for me to come on the show. Absolutely. Yeah. And so I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make sure that you are heard and you represent what you teach and you represent my brother because. What you teach is what he has become a, 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 a true student of. You know what I'm saying? I haven't heard him teach yet. You know what I'm saying? But I know he's a true student of. And, oh, he is. Um, oh, he is. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, he's a true no student doubt. of. And he's a good yes, friend of mine. So, brother, sure. on Tuesday, 12 to 2, page 7 of yes. the book. The, of the Masonic Compass Square book. Yep. Page the Mas seven. Masonic Compass Square the connection Square. To so we've been here, we've been here an hour and 20 minutes, and we're gonna try to keep it to an hour and a half because you know our people got ADHD. <laughs> we have a microwave information. Yeah, but yeah, but true. so so we're gonna we're gonna go on that case. And if you want to go off into something else, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna start with the case. I do want to start with the case and, and make that and I'll and be then... uploading this tomorrow and I'll send you a link. Yes, please do. I'll send you a link so you can see yeah, it. All people right. People waiting for it. They're waiting for it, man. They wait back because he's like I'm, I'm, if I don't do it tomorrow, I'll, if I don't do it tomorrow, I'll do it Monday just to promote it for a day or so. All right. 
They're waiting for they're it, though. I'm thinking to do it tomorrow <laughs> night, though. I think I can promote it between tonight and tomorrow, and it's good. You know, in, in social media, things go so fast and spread so fast. I might can yeah, promote it between tonight and tomorrow. All right. All right, and let it go tomorrow Tomorrow night around about 8 o'clock. Around about eight o'clock, eight o'clock yeah, Eastern Standard there, Time. The, you put up there to be to start the um, eight o'clock. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, but brother, yeah, I appreciate yeah. you. And, and let me say thank you for your patience, brother. Thank you for your patience for how long it takes to get back on the show, and thanks for your patience with me uh, uh, going back and forth with you. Because no, no but, you know, but, that like that, but that's my. I, I, that's always been my style. You know me, bro. That's always I'm been not, my no, style. I, 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 I dealt with that in disrespect. I don't mean any disrespect, none whatsoever. Yes. All right. All right, brother. Appreciate you. And I see you Tuesday at 12 o'clock. All right. All right. Peace. All right. Peace. And there it is, family. Another episode of Morris World TV7. Woo! <laughs> Oh, boy, boy. Let me let me apologize to the audience. I know some of y'all are like, man, just let them talk. Let them answer the question. It's kind of hard uh, uh, because I be all passionate. I'm working on myself. I'm going to put on the suit. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start putting on a suit. And then maybe when I put on a suit, then maybe that'll help calm me down. You know what I'm saying? But uh appreciate your family. And I see y'all on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my goodness. Woo! That was a good one. That was a good one. I got to admit. But that's only the start. Follow me. That's only the start. I feel that more you gon' remember. Be more. I feel that more you gon' remember. That town. I feel that more you gon' remember. To Hawke Bay front line till the law call my number. I feel that more you gon' remember. L.A. I feel that more you gon' remember. New York. I feel that more you gon' remember. To Hawke Bay front line till the law call my number.